In today's video, we're going to go over the basic training of Sherlock. I'm going to show you how to navigate the software, define a couple of user settings, and then we will bring in an ODB file, set up the board, and uh, bring in some loads and run some analysis and review the results. So to start, this is Sherlock. On the right hand side, we have the working panel. On the left hand side, we have the project tree. And on top of this software here, we have a bunch of drop down menus. Under project, this is how you start a project. You can either add a project, which will be a blank project from scratch, or you import a project, which is uh, a project that you have worked on before. And then you can see that we can bring in, uh, import a bunch of different archives, ODB and uh, Gerber being the common ones. Once we have the project, these uh, menus will get activated, which we'll talk about it. And also uh, we'll talk about the circuit cards here as well. The next one, CCA, is a circuit card. Again, we will talk about it once we have the project. We have the libraries, we have the laminate libraries. So here is uh, where we have all of our uh, uh, laminate properties that is listed here. If you need to look at the uh, properties in details, you will double click on any of these and it will open up the laminate properties and the mechanical properties of that laminate. If you need to add a uh, laminate that is not listed here, you can right click, add laminate, it will open up a blank uh, table that you need to fill in the information. If you have a laminate that is similar to one of these that is listed here, you will right click and copy the laminate and we will copy the information there. All you need to do is change the product name and then change the property that you need to change. You can also export the laminate into an Excel file. And once you do it, you can share that Excel file with your coworkers or whoever who can use Sherlock and then uh, they can import it from file dropdown menu and import the Excel file into their uh, libraries. Same thing goes with material libraries. This is where all our material database is located at. And similarly, you can double click on any of these uh, materials and the detail of the uh, material will open up. Again, if you need to copy or add that material, you can add a material, which will be the adding a material from blank or you can copy the material which copies all the properties. You have to give it a new name and change the property that you need to change. Next, solder libraries. We have five solders listed here inside Sherlock. And again, similarly, you can right click, add a solder or copy mm -hmm. a solder or export the solder and import it from file dropdown menu. We have the parts library that uh, we have over 300,000 components as far as the ANSYS 2020 R2 goes, depending on when you watch this video, and we, we probably may have more components in our part library. So if you want to search for a component, you set the manufacturer and a part number, and then you list the part and it will show up here. And then on top here, uh, you can see the Sherlock part library is our uh, global part library, and then you would have a local part library, which is a, a local part library that you only have access to it or people in your organization, nobody else around the uh, globe who uses Sherlock have access to it. Next, we have the package library. These are all of the uh, packages that we, we track inside Sherlock. So we usually have a uh, little picture here to show you what that package may look like to help you understanding the, uh, the package. And the rest of the items here, I'm not going to go over in this video. 